Well, one of the nation's largest court systems is about to roll out changes to the way you access its data. The last time the Cook County Circuit Court attempted something like this was under Dorothy Brown a few years ago. It didn't go well back then. Iris Martinez is now the new leader at those offices. She's making a similar attempt on the anniversary of her first year in office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. A year has passed since Iris Martinez took over as clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. She and her staff showed us around last December. This is all of the administrative areas. As they tried to clear office space that for years was overloaded with case files and boxes. All this had boxes. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Nobody. Today, they continue to work to clean up that space. There's days when we, something pops up and we're like, what? But, you know, Let's let's figure it out and let's move forward. That hasn't always been easy. The clerk's office was understaffed by 300 people when she took over. They filled 100 positions so far and are also modernizing an office led by Dorothy Brown for 20 years. There have been people that have been very critical of the work that you're doing of your office the same way they have when Dorothy Brown was here including issues with the website, that the website was down. How do you address some of those critics? Well, I say this, when you walk into an office where you have to basically almost like start over so we can do things right, ethically right, making sure that we can t lift that cloud. You said that people are criticizing, but we don't hear the criticism other than the fact the website. Guess what, technology will always have its little glitches. She's referring to the breach that her office saw back in August. The website used by thousands of people to look up important case information was tapped into by hackers. Martinez says no personal information was exposed, but her staff opted to take parts of the website offline. We are rebuilding a real true website where we have an updated updated software so we don't have these glitches or these, these problems in the future. There's more. Martinez and her staff now have to meet a court order deadline. We're going to be heading over to our public access terminals. Last week they showed us around the portal they'll so be using now, that will allow attorneys and this. members of the public to remotely file legal documents. The old legacy data portal that required a visit to the courthouse to file will be replaced by Odyssey. A $36 million right, system and project is finally do do? done. So the Odyssey important. is something that I think right now our judges are getting trained on it. It's, it's the new way. That's, that's a new system for us. So everybody has to jump on board. Our game plan is to try and be done as, as, as implementing everything by December. As of year. December 6th, the Odyssey portal will be online, bringing an office often criticized for its decades-old system into a brand new world. We're prepared to work overtime to work through the weekends to make sure that as that conversion happens, we are all hands on deck. And just to give you some background, when Dorothy Brown tried to roll out the new e-file system, there was so much confusion that the chief judge, Tim Evans, uh, ordered the implementation be stopped. This week, Evans signed off on getting that project moving again. Martinez, meanwhile, wants to assign 30 to 40 clerks to a call center that will help people navigate that system. So we'll be watching it. Quite a process. The highest ranking.